Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you saw my three year lock extension review video, this is part two of that video, Wash and Retwist Day. thing I wanted to do was trim the extensions. They were getting a little raggedy at the ends and I was ready for a chop because the extensions were getting really heavy too. I randomly cut each lock to get the desired length and quality which was just covering my chest and I am happy with how it came out. Step two was an apple cider vinegar soak. This helps clean and detoxify my locks and remove excess dirt and buildup. It's two thirds cups of organic apple cider vinegar, one fourth cup of baking soda, a half a cut squeezed lemon, and I top it off with hot water. I realized when I was prepping this soak that I hadn't eaten yet and I was about to sit uncomfortably for 20 minutes. So I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I waited for the water to cool down. I set the timer for 20 minutes and in I went. I use this method to soak my hair, which is the inversion method, which is said to help grow your hair an extra inch or two per month. Hanging your head upside down increases blood flow to the scalp, which stimulates hair growth. Also massaging your scalp upside down when you put oil in your hair also helps stimulate hair growth. Twenty minutes is up. If you notice the way that the water started out and how it finished, it's pretty gross. Then I proceeded to jump in the shower. Right now I've been using a combination of black soap to wash my scalp and Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo to wash my locks. After a few years I noticed a, a lot of buildup in my locks so this shampoo is the best thing that works for me right now. Next, I wanted to color my hair because I cut most of the ombre color out and I found this natural hair dye at Walmart on clearance and it said it was good for brunettes so I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> the color was nice but when I went to go rinse it it basically all came out so what was left was only a purple glare
Next, I decided to make a new hair cream. This is my first time making this, and I got this idea from either YouTube or Pinterest. I didn't use exact measurements, but basically I put in one part shea butter, one part coconut oil, a couple drops of castor oil, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E oil, and lavender, and then I mixed in homemade flaxseed gel, which I'll show you how to make in another video. I used the double broil method to mix all the oils together and then I used a hand mixer to mix in the flaxseed gel as it cooled. I had to put this in the fridge a couple times to chill it so that it was blendable but eventually I got it whipped to perfection and I'm very pleased how it came out. This hair cream can be used to style your hair, to moisturize your hair, but for me, I just use it to retwist my locks. The next step is retwisting. This step takes the longest, which makes this a whole day process. And at some point, I will trust someone to do it for me, but until then, I save money by doing it myself. I hand twist and palm roll my hair and clip three locks together and then braid it down as my protective style. After five long hours, this is the final result. After four weeks, I decided I wanted to try the color thing again, and I bought this temporary hair wax on Amazon and went for round two of coloring my hair purple. This time, I had better success. Thank you for watching part two of my three year lock extension journey. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm Queen Tasha, peace and blessings, I'm out.